Genesis. Show my hardcore is. What's up, freaks, beasts, and athletes? It's DC here with dclayborn.com, home of Genesis Strength and Conditioning. Today, uh, guys can chat because I kind of got a, a pretty good laugh. Uh, you know, a lot of my high school athletes always ask, you know, the first time they come in the facility, what position I played in high school, you know, what I did in college. Uh, when I tell them that, you know, kind of, that I played wide receiver and they look at me now, you know, I kind of get that puzzled look and it, it just makes me think back to those days of, you know, how I wanted to be big um, and really, you know, nothing I did uh, ever seemed to work. And so wanted to kind of share with you guys um, what, you know, what I did, uh, kind of how it was and all the crazy stuff I used to do back in my skinny days uh, with the dream and, you know, and aspirations of, of one day getting bigger. You know, if you're not aware of kind of how I used to look, uh, if you've been to the blog, you'll see the, uh, you know, my before picture on there. Uh, if you haven't been to the blog, then I'll flash it up here. So you can see, I was, uh, I think in that pick, I was like 155. That was my sophomore year of college. I was not a big guy. Uh, I was probably the opposite of a big guy that just, I'd still work out, but had no clue. Uh, kind of took anything and everything that I heard and tried to make me, uh, you know, with the dream of it making me bigger uh, and packing on size and pretty much nothing worked. So sit tight, kind of check this out, give you guys a kind of a brief of uh, a few, few of the funny things that really, you know, I used to do back in my skinny days. Uh, the first thing I always remember uh, back in my skinny days was no matter what I did or no matter what I ate, I always somewhat knew that, you know, more calories meant that I was going to get bigger. You know, if you ate more, you were going to add size. Unfortunately, that wasn't truly the case, um, but every night before bed, every single night for pretty much a year, I would have a, a pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream just because I knew that that was extra calories. I would finish dinner, I would, you know, kill a pint of ice cream and then go to bed thinking that the next morning I would wake up three to five pounds heavier. That did not work one time. Sure was a lot of ice cream though. Can't say that I missed that, or can't say that I don't miss that part of it. But definitely funny looking back thinking that was one of the things that was gonna help me, uh, you know, pack on weight. Another thing in my, uh, in my skinny days I used to do, uh, I know you used to do it too. Everybody that's ever wanted to put on weight has done this. But I used to uh, buy those bags, those huge like trash bag sizes of, of that cheap weight gainer that tasted horrible. It came in like, you know, let's say you needed one scoop to give you like 4,000 calories. Uh, you pull the scoop out of the bag and it looks like it's just a miniature shovel. Uh, the stuff tasted like crap. The only way you could stomach it, you know, it said put one scoop in like 48 ounces of water, just something just so retarded that I didn't know any better. I thought that was what was needed. Uh, you couldn't stomach it. It tasted like uh, vanilla flavored acid. And so people, you know, you'd always mix it with ice cream at the end of the day. Uh, you'd have that huge blender. Uh, I remember that. That was something I went through bags and bags of that, still with no results. Uh, another thing I used to do in my skinny days was, uh, you know, pretty much if it came out, in any magazine or was promoted. Uh, this was kind of before online was huge, uh, but you could hit me up on uh, AOL, you know, hitting up with the chat rooms, uh, but that type of stuff. So really, magazines was and kind of word of mouth of the gym was all I had to go off of. And so I would try any and pretty much all supplements that came out or were on the shelves, you know, hoping to promote, you know, weight gain, uh, muscle building or all that stuff, you know, strength improvements. I tried some, tried some of the craziest stuff out there with no results, uh, probably spent thousands of dollars, uh, if not tens of thousands of dollars on supplements for many years uh, with zero results. I tried crap like, uh, what was it, um, Russian bear, you know, I pretty much was a, a, a muscle tech junkie, any, you know, hydro weobolic meta super plasma gurgitator, um, that was in my cabinet, um, I was trying it all. I used to take so many BCAA pills, creatine pills, uh, muscle boosting pills that at the beginning of each week I would take Dixie cups and have a line down my dresser that was like AM and PM and each Dixie cup would have something like 8 to 10 pills. I'd wake up, take those pills, go eat breakfast, you know, do the rest of my day, 
when it's time to go to bed, take the other Dixie cup, uh, you know, just cram those pills down. And, uh, you know, that's what I thought was needed. That's what it looked like to me. All the bigger guys were doing or taking didn't work. Still makes me cringe. I refuse to even just look at Dixie cups now because it makes me think of just the hours I spent counting out pills and popping them in there to start each week. Uh, another thing that I used to do back in my skinny days was I would spend all as much, as much time as possible <clears throat> lifting on machines. Lifting on machines, you know, if you've ever done it, you feel that burn, you feel like that, that single muscle's really working and really getting hammered. And hey, it's a lot cooler to be able to say you lift 100 pounds or can use the whole stack on a, uh, on a machine compared to, you know, the bench press machine or, you know, whatever. Uh, the curl machine is the one that I remember the most. I'd sit there and be able to move that whole stack. But if you asked me to go do any type of dumbbell curl, I was probably struggling and quivering under 25 pounds. Uh, you know, I lived on those machines because they made me feel better. Um, they made the muscle feel like it was working harder. Unfortunately, no results from that. And then finally, uh, you know, I, I, I lived off fast food. Kind of going back to the calorie thing is I knew I needed more calories. I didn't know what quality calories were. Uh, I was too lazy to cook. I didn't know how to cook. I didn't have a uh, awesome wife like I do now to prepare food. So back then, you know, to me, calories were calories. And so I used to go uh, after I'd work out, I would either hit up, uh, if you're in Texas, there's a place called Whataburger. They used to run specials on Wednesdays. I would hit that up or I would go to McDonald's and I would basically get my post-workout meal for about two years uh, from McDonald's would consist of two uh, McDoubles or back then they were double cheeseburgers, two of those, a uh, medium milkshake and a medium fry. It was four bucks. It gave me somewhere like 2,000 calories. Didn't put a single, uh, probably didn't put a single ounce of muscle on me. It did give me a really awesome looking kind of spare tire and flabbiness to go along with my skinniness. So then I wasn't just skinny. I was that weak, um, soft, fat, skinny kid that you see uh, who you think, you know, uh, maybe strong. And so I was working my butt off, you know, still hammering that because calories were calories. Got no results. Uh, it wasn't until I stopped really ditching fast food, stopped paying attention to all that other crap and really start focusing and learning the basics of what builds a, a superior physique that I got better. But, you know, don't feel ashamed of the crap that you've done that doesn't work. Uh, kind of look back at it as a learning experience. You know, there's a few of the things I probably have a, a, a ton more if I sat here and talked that would pop into my mind. Uh, but, you know, those are just some of the few things that I did back in my skinny days. You know, if you have some crazy things that you used to do, drop me a line, you know, comment below. I do have some free gifts for you guys if you want to check those links out below. Uh, if you like this, kind of like me talking about how I was a fool uh, or want to learn some more tips on how to get bigger, how to become a better athlete, how to get stacked and jacked, hit that subscribe button above. Now you guys know, probably know more about me than you care to, and knowing's half the battle. Genesis. Show my hardcore is, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yo.